A tragic end tonight to the search for another missing woman. Human remains found in Yucca Valley are now confirmed to be those of Lauren Cho. The New Jersey woman had been missing since June. And sadly, that's not the only case of someone disappearing in our local desert. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is here now with a closer look at the mysteries and the dangers of the desert. Yeah, Pat, this really is a heartbreaking story, and it's one that has touched people from all over the country. And late tonight on Facebook, Cho's family put out a message thanking everyone for all the love and the support. Sadly, though, Cho's case is one of many. Joshua Tree National Park. It's described as a haven for artists, hipster transplants, and the ascent obsessed. The park is home to nearly 3 million visitors a year. Half of them are from the Southland. While most come for a quick adventure, some come to the area to live. Like 30 year old Lauren L. Cho, she moved to the California desert from New Jersey in December. Our CBS New York affiliate spoke with one of her good friends. The pandemic was wearing on her, and she like, had this opportunity to change scenery in her life and go after a dream of cooking and uh, chef work. So that's what she did. She traveled across country with her then boyfriend. The final destination, this Airbnb compound in Yucca Valley, where Cho would be a private chef. Then the unthinkable, Cho went missing. Authorities say Cho's then ex-boyfriend told them she walked away from the compound around 5 o'clock on June 28th, leaving behind personal belongings after, quote, suffering from mental distress. Several search and rescue missions would come up empty. Investigators say no foul play is expected. Then, on October 10th, remains were found in the area Cho was reported missing. The desert has become a place that many people have flocked to, especially during the pandemic. Many of them looking to find themselves. It's a very special vortex of energy. That's Sarah Braun Levy. She's a shaman healer in Joshua Tree. You feel more connected to the land. There's this quietness, and I think that's really the attraction those days. It's that desire for peace, that desire to be able to hear your own thoughts without being distracted by so much background noise. Braun Levy says while the desert brings out all of the beauty, it also brings out all of the shadows. A lot of people think they're going to come here and just have this shanti awakening loving experience when in reality you can also face what what's a little darker within and it gets more complicated. Many come unprepared, not realizing how harsh the elements can be. In fact, on average, there's one search and rescue mission a week. I have gone on on dozens of rescues for folks that uh, did not anticipate what could actually happen to them. And I, I've gone on, on fatal you know, uh, rescues as well. Some of the recent fatal cases include 20-year-old Joseph Espinoza from Oceanside, 37-year-old Erica Lloyd of Walnut Creek, and 38-year-old Patrick Wells from 29 Palms. Like Cho, the cause of their deaths remain a mystery. Superintendent David Smith of the Joshua Tree National Park wants people to know the dangers of the desert are real. Pre-plan so that you are ready to go. Make sure someone knows where you are when you're inside the park. And by all means, have a great time. And whether you're going for an outdoor adventure or to find yourself, you can never be too prepared. So we put a link of what you need to know online. That's at CBSLA.com. And Pat, the bottom line is, if you're going to head out to Joshua Tree, be prepared, especially the weather as well. That's one of them. Now,